Hey everyone, this is Warren Lover Productions, and I went to a train show. <sighs> and oh boy, I got some stuff. Okay, I just again. Excuse me, Lily. So, let's start at the top of the pile. So, up here, we have a. Just entire set for 20 bucks. A bathroom blue box. ABA set. Um, they're actually in pretty good condition for the what they are and how they were. And I did service everything as well, just for the sake of it, because it was just going to annoy me. So I said this thing didn't run. I just put a little oil in it, and it ran. And it ran really good, and it, it needs just a little bit more work, but it's their dummy dummy A unit. It's the whole set's there. Just there. Next, this is one that's been on our list for a while. We have a AHM 2102 Vino Big Six. And I, the price it's on there, I did not play 100 bucks. I paid 90, so I got the price down a bit. It's a bit expensive for what it was, though. Next. So I'm, I'm usually going to turn this my grandpa in this section because I said because I've been looking this is something that's on my list for a while as well and that's a Lion, you know, Lionel GP35 with the Lion Chief ones or the GP38 uh, but he, he got I mean it's a chesty system one but I'll, I mean, I'll take it it's it's a good runner too for what it is so I have two more after the local is headed to my fleet so I'm not at five. Because you got those two PAs. And oh boy, you love to see it. It's another Spectrum. Now I have the consolidation and what's under here. I have the mountain now. Ironically, both in Union Pacific. And I, as I said, I did service some of this stuff. I've The seller who bought this, I've got to know I've got my running i 10 sa and my PA. The PA is the only thing that's ran for good. This thing, he he says he makes them run, but he doesn't really, or just does a really bad job, because he put grease in the wheel bearings. So I got it, and it was all seized. I'm like, oh boy, I've got to open this thing up. These engines are not fun, but it's, it's there. And we might do some running, but... If, if you can see what that says, oh boy, you know what's going to happen. I got I got the cars. This is almost a complete set of the Sino heavyweights. And there was one of the Hudsons there. The Sino Hudsons, but I didn't pick it up. But they're all there. There's the... And they're... They're in good condition for what they are. Can't tell they do have custom paints and interiors with figures. So that's pretty cool. And diaphragms and K knuckles. I'm gonna try to adjust these so I can get a bit closer gap on cars without them derailing on my R18. But that's gonna be some problems. But we got the entire it's an eight car set. If you want ten dollars a car, you got it for sixty. The chair car. Pullman, Singer Pullman. We'll take that from going up on the shelf first when we can get, but we have the entire set. Baggage, Combine, RPO. Not necessarily, because we have those three 121s. Ooh, I grabbed this one. This one's actually pretty cool, because the interior in it isn't actually a River Rossi one. It's actually a custom Balsa one. So that's actually pretty cool for what it is. We'll go on to running shots of the stuff running.
perfect. That's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you can't tell from those shots, this this set is entirely too long for my layout and it almost wraps around the entire inner loop. But if I do eventually decide to show up, and if I can, I'll show up to Monroe, though I will probably bring this set and run it. But I believe this locomotive, if I'm not mistaken, actually now holds a new lap time of 18 seconds on the layout. So, is that? Feel free to like and subscribe on the video, and I'll see you in the next. This is Wildlife Productions, out.